because of the title. I wanted to talk about facial mole removal. A lot of the stories I have seen just on the internet were scary. Basically what the mole is going to look like for life-ish, kind of. Now there's a couple different options you can choose when getting your facial mole removed. One of the options is they will cut out a football-shaped incision and then they'll stitch it back up. One of the other ones is just having the mole shaved, and the third one, which is what I chose, is having it shaved and then cauterized. Um, having the mole cauterized just helps to prevent the mole from growing back because they'll kind of burn out the roots of the mole. Here is a picture before when I had my mole. <laughs> Look at him. Here's a picture after. This is today, actually, how it looks with makeup on. My picture's only about a 10 day span just because that's about how long it took for me to be able to put makeup over my mole again. So, yeah. Here is right after I had gotten my mole removed. You can see it's kind of like brown and scabby looking. That's because it was just burned, so it looks a little bit gross. Here is about three days after. You can see it's getting a little better. Here's about six days after. And nine days, 10 days-ish after. And last is the picture I took about two days ago of it without any makeup. After it's completely healed and there's no open wound, I've put salicylic acid during the day and Retin-A at night just to kind of get my skin to peel away the scar, if that makes any sense. That's all I have right now. So make sure you like and subscribe down below if you'd like to see more videos. And I have a Tumblr and Instagram that I'm not going to force you to. But and I will.